So it's just, it's, it's a lot, but can it be done? Absolutely. Is it going to take hard work? Absolutely. But it definitely will allow you to sleep better at night. And that's the benefit about just simple splits. I mean, just having that covered and knowing that everybody um, has their ownership protected, you know, even in our platform, they sleep better at night. Right. Like a baby. Right. Yeah, right. like a baby. Right. <laughs> Um, so, so let's just talk about why split sheets are important because, you know, we kind of went into, you know, different examples and ideas, but I also want to get your mind thinking about, you know, how far your split sheets can take you. So we know for sure that split sheets protect you and ensure that each of you as a contributor, whether you're a writer or a producer, are paid for your creation, for your contributions, right? Um, they protect your ownership as well, like we talked about, because you know it shows your splits of how much you actually contributed. But if that song were to actually get placed, let's say for instance you are shopping the record and it gets placed, you make the job easier for the music publishers and the record labels to get the song out, the, process, the paperwork process is easier, and even if it gets licensed into a film, a sitcom, you know, for, for film and television, that makes the process easier for it to come out. And even for commercials, television commercials, or these days, video, uh, uh, digital commercials. Um, I've known uh, a few friends of mine, and I had one similar situation where um, there was a song that, you know, could have possibly been placed, but, you know, they did the song maybe like four or five years ago, and lost touch with the guy who was one of the producers, because it was two producers involved, and there was no split sheet done. So the song had already been in the publisher's catalog, but the publisher failed to collect everybody's information up front because there's no system or platform that is collecting this up front, hence the reason why we have the lab. And because there's no system collecting that, they only look out for their writers. Well, you know, how, how much y'all contribute? Okay, y'all sign with us. Okay, y'all got 25. Okay, this person has 25. Well, who is this guy? I don't know, let me go through my emails. So boom, you go into your emails, you check your emails, you can't get in touch with them no more. Maybe, maybe the email, he hasn't responded or it bounces back. Then you go to Instagram, then you go to wherever else, and you can't find them. And so what happens is that stresses out the publishers because now they got money on the table that they don't want to lose. Maybe the music supervisor or whoever is licensed in the record is actually waiting for you to get back to them. But could you imagine how many other songs are in the pipeline that they have to get cleared because they have a quota at the end of the month that they have to make too? And so it's just for business purposes. It's just bad business. It just slows the whole process down and you eliminate yourself out of that to, be, to even be considered for that commercial. Because now they're like, okay, well, we don't got time. We've been looking for splits for the last two weeks. We ain't heard from, okay, next. And sometimes it's even within days. I mean, I clear licenses and they, the deadlines now are literally within 72 hours. They're like, look, we need to have these splits back in 72 hours. This is for Sunday's best. What, what's up? And so if I don't have that information up front, then my writers and producers lose the opportunity. So that's why it's important to have the squishies done per song up front. 